Imagine training an AI on your best salesperson and then replacing a 10 person team with it. That's exactly what Vercel just did. They're a $9.3 billion cloud development platform that now has one human and one AI agent comprising their inbound sales team. And here's how they did it according to Business Insider. They had engineers shadow the company's top performing sales rep for six weeks, documenting their entire process, and then built an AI to replicate all of it. The new AI agent now filters spam, qualifies leads, drafts personalized replies, personalized being relative, I guess, and routes support requests using OpenAI's deep research tool. The remaining nine team members weren't laid off, but reassigned to more complex outbound sales roles. Vercel's COO says the company now has six agents running and plans to deploy hundreds more. So AI everywhere, it looks like. The goal, she says, isn't to cut jobs, but to move humans into higher value creative work. That's a great line, isn't it? And I see this every time a company claims to have replaced people with AI, there's always an opportunity to move what aren't laid off workers, but they're repositioned workers into more strategic roles, or as they say, more creative and higher value roles, which begs the question, shouldn't they have been doing the more strategic, high value stuff already if they were qualified to do so? Maybe that's just me, but I don't think it's that simple. As we add more AI into the mix, we're not going to need as many people, and you can have only so many people in strategic positions. We know that. And every time I post a story like this and comment on it, I'm surprised by the number of people who reply saying AI is just a fad, it's a bubble, it's not going to last, this is just much ado about nothing. And that seems just hard to believe to me. We see this happening on an almost daily basis now at increasing speed. So there we are, another company replacing a lot of people with a little AI, and they're planning to do a whole lot more of it.